Hey guys and gals out there on YouTube, how y'all doing today? You know, I was watching one of those old movies, one of those old, I guess we'll call it a western movie, right? You seen them? You know what I'm talking about? Well anyways, um, watch one of those flicks and you see these scenes, you know what I'm talking about, where some guy's standing behind a building and they're just shooting all through the doors and stuff and it seems to be totally safe and totally fine. And I got to think about that a little bit, like, well, shoot. What's a, what do you think would actually, you know, would that thin board really help you? Now, granted, walls are thick and different. This is a Pieta copy of a 44. This is a like a replica of some of the patterns used by the Confederacy in Civil War. This is a, it, I have an original, which is, 36 caliber and actually made by Colt. This is a, like I said, a copy. It's a board to a 44. It's got the brass train, which would indicate a copy of the Confederate type that were imported for the war. And it was willing to just try firing a few rounds from this through a pine board. Just see how it goes. For this, we're going to be using Pyrodex, a uh, Rufflin shotgun. I prefer the granules for, uh, like, for number, this would be like a number two black powder equivalent as opposed to number three because it uh, it's looser loading and therefore overloads are less likely. Also a good chance to try out these new Hornady uh, 454 inch if that's uh, going to work for this one or not. This gun came from a uh, estate cell so I don't know a whole lot about it. And uh, it actually came to me loaded and the shop I bought it from had not cleared it. So I went ahead and cleared it and I cleared it without, well, anyways, I, I did clear it and I've cleaned it since then. They were under the impression that it was a dead stock piece, which it isn't. It was used a fair amount and it was put away without properly cleaning and still got some carbon score and a little bit of residue here, which I'm still working on cleaning it all up. There was a little bit of corrosion, but the board looks pretty good, but nothing like cleaning the gun out. These are really pretty. Look at that. These are really pretty. Usually, you like to I like to put a um, a plug down in there. Anyways, let's see. I, I guess I can load it without it. I'm gonna go ahead and use this powder measure here. Let's go ahead and load for. Uh, let's go ahead and load for 40 40 grains. Should be about right. This has a one way valve. Just sort of. And this will actually, when you slide this over, kind of make sure it's the Bring your gun up to bear, like so. Try this one-handed, well, two-handed, but with the camera here. Now just release a little valve, it drops a stem, and it pretty much fills it up. Ooh, 40 might be a little bit more than I want to do. Let's see. Oh. Take a bowl and set it down on top, like so, and rotate it around and bring the ram down. And uh, yeah, these balls are actually too big for this guy. There it goes. I rammed it down with a little ring of lead here. It's a good seat. Now what you do on a single action like this, that you can't safely lower the hammer on, you will now skip the next cylinder. And we'll do the rest of this off camera. All right, the cylinders are loaded. Uh, bring it to half cock and then show you this loaded cylinders. Now, a chain fire can happen when a 
uh, hot powders from one can ignite other chambers. Now the balls seated down there should prevent that, but I like to take a little bit of boar butter. They also used grease back in the day. And uh, go ahead and put just a little over your, your casings, your mouths, and kind of rub it in there. And this is a whole process is very greasy, gooey. Everything you do with these guns is pretty much you know, it's, it gets pretty, pretty much all over the place, seems like. This also help lube. And uh, for cleanup, I don't know, I shouldn't say it makes it easier. Just cleanup of these things is a lot easier, I think, than conventional revolvers, conventional firearms. Um, I've made a terrible mess here, though, I'll be honest. I put way too much in, it's way too hot in this room. Now, the other part of this is you gotta cap cap the cylinders. Um, I'm using number 11 percussion caps here. So we come around to the first loaded cylinder here. We come around to the notch here on the backing plate and go ahead and take, and, take your cap and slide it on. And now you're probably saying why you skip one cylinder and leave it dead. And that's so you can lower your hammer safely without a discharge. A lot of people like to use multiple cylinders and preload cylinders. That's fine. Um, but if you load preload a cylinder, do not pre-cap the cylinder. Um, because if it drops, it will actually fire. It can. I should say. And going to load up. One more to go. Not sure how well you all can see that. Okay, there's the last one's been capped. Now, this is a live one, and as I bring this up to bear, if I did my job right, there it is, on a dead chamber. Lower the hammer. There's no nipple. There's no live round. And this is goo from me greasing the I've made a big mess a lot of people do this really well anyways let's go ahead and see what happens try this out okay let's try this out very close range well as you guys can see these holes go all the way through. I was gonna try this on two by stock, and I thought most of those Hollywood movies show very thin looking wood. Now this, this is just a, a pine board, common pine number two. So granted, uh, those would be hardwood boards usually back in those movies, if that was true. But look at the splintering. And really tell me now, seriously, do you really think you'd be okay on the other side of a horse trough? Granted, the water would help a little bit, but I mean, and remember, this is black powder. It's not, and this wasn't particularly loaded up to hot levels or anything. So just a little food for thought, guys. Anyways, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, give me a like comment. Just tell me what you think. Just a little idea I had when watching an old flick. Anyways, big shout out to you guys out there. Till next time, ciao.